To write the name for FES, we first need to recognize that we have a metal and a nonmetal. So when we have a metal and a nonmetal, we'll name this as an ionic compound, specifically because they're just two different elements, a binary ionic compound. So first we name the metal as it appears on the periodic table. Fe, that's the metal, that's iron. And then we name the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table. So S is sulfur, lowercase s, and we replace the ending with IDE. So we get this out and we write IDE. So at this point, we have iron sulfide, but iron, that's a transition metal. It can have a different charge depending on what it's bonded to. Here it's bonded to the sulfur. So let's look the sulfur up. And sulfur right here, sulfur has a two minus ionic charge. So let's put that up, two minus. That means the iron has to be two plus. And in the name, we put the Roman numeral two for this two plus here and put parentheses around it. So the name for FES is iron two sulfide. You might also see this as ferrous sulfide. That's the older name where ferrous is the iron two ion. So the official name for FES is iron two sulfide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.